My name is Bob Burnside and I am a professor of game and simulation programming in the College of Engineering and Information Sciences. When students begin the game and simulation programming, they will first learn to design and write programs in C++. From that, they're going to learn then the basics of the various components of gaming. You start out with just, you know, your story, your requirements, what you want in the game, you know, is it going to be a puzzler, is it going to be a shooter, you know, is it going to be something no one's ever heard of before. A typical day in the life of a GSP student is programming, programming, programming. The simulation experience ties into a lot of things other than simply people playing computer games. In this program, you incorporate lots of math and physics applications. You start off in a couple of game design courses, but then you slowly branch into the programming. You start off with just like um, algebra and trig and your basic math, and then you actually get into coding with math. And uh, those, I mean, you do anything from just making simple math calculators to actually doing like you'll have a cannon hit a target. In the simulation part of the gaming and simulation, that material is used in things like accident reconstruction, in uh, traffic for uh, criminal courts, for forensic reconstructions, also for reconstructions of things like aircraft accidents. DeVry University has given me the great tools through all of the professors who actually work in the industry and all of the tools we have and everyone's friendly around the campus so I'm able to get help wherever it's needed. DeVry University is going to stand out by the degree of hands-on experience that our students have. And one of the things that was really helpful is uh, the Academic Support Center and the professors. They were there to, you know, just help me step by step. Another way that we can help the students is that we have contact with the industry on a fairly regular basis so that we learn what they're looking for and what skills they're going to be asking for students in the next year or two so that by the time they get out there, they not only walk in with a resume that says I'm good at it, they walk in with a CD that says, this is what I can do, let me show you.